I'm assigned to dock 13. I'm, I'm, this is the second time I'm here, so I know it's going to be freaking tight. trailer so I can get as close as possible you see that I'm basically just gonna hug every single nook and cranny to my left oh shit this is easy <laughs> never mind if if trailers are here the shoe is set so let's go to dock 13 all right let me put my emergencies because somebody's coming to my you gonna go? Me go? Me. Make sure when you cut it, you have enough space to your your right. I'm gonna give a little two honks. <laughs> See the my tires, my axles. I'm cutting my wheel all the way to the right. I'm watching those axles. I'm gonna keep cutting, keep cutting. Now I'm gonna go back. Go back around it. I'm looking at that solid yellow line. I'm gonna come back around it. Probably won't be a first shot, but what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna move my tandem. I know I'm crooked. But I gotta fix it anyway. this shit up. Oops. A lot of people are going to watch you too. It's okay. He's taking his time. He's so good at this. Drivers get out of there or they open up their door.
fucking up. There we go, right there. Yeah, we got it. We got this. about maintaining your health as a truck driver. Hands down, it's the lack of physical activity. But it's no different than an office job, right? Wrong. Sorry about the mess. But office people, they may deal with a little bit of cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that tends to like give you a little bit more fat around the tummy area. And it's because of the um, high stress levels. I feel like truck drivers deal with a hell of a lot more stress than office people we have weather we have traffic we have dot we have uh, all kinds of stuff hitting us mentally family all of that so not only do we lack physical activity as truck drivers but we're also malnourished how could our bodies handle so much stress break it down and process foods sitting in our, our gut bacteria. It just is a recipe for disaster in my opinion. Your potential for happiness is practically down the drain, right? So what can you do? In my opinion, I'm no doctor. All I could do is speak from experience. And the best thing we can do is manage our inconveniences out here i'm i'm it's convenient for me to work out in the truck because i'm so tiny but what's a typical truck driver a huge man and the best thing for us to do to work on those inconveniences is to basically get out of your comfort zone push a little bit to not care what
what people think about you to get out of the truck, do some push-ups, some burpees, some squats, something that's going to grow muscle because, you know, people say, I'm going to go for a little 15-minute walk. But what that's going to do is just burn those calories while you're walking or jogging. And that's it. You're no longer burning um, anything else. Now, if you want to grow muscle, get out of your comfort zone and come up with creative ways that can um, keep you consistent. What that's going to do is boost up your metabolism because those muscle groups are tanks for carbohydrates. So what's going to what's going to happen is you're going to consume try to consume a nutritional diet and your body's going to take in those nutrients, take what it wants, throw away the rest, and that's how you're going to start your journey to better health in my opinion. I hope this helps you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for sticking around with me throughout all of this bullshit. Cortisol <laughs> stress levels <laughs> have been breaking down perfectly because we've been staying on our nutritious diet. We've been maintaining our smiles and we're going to share some more because the world needs them. Bye. Mm -hmm.